this segment, I'm going to show you uh, how to find the elevation for your particular lot. So here we have the, the roof line shows the back of the house and the base of the foundation. What I have here are some lines that I'd like you to, to, to pay attention to. Let's start with this dotted line here. And in this dotted line, we see the line traveling up and then up again, across, up, and finally to finish at the base of the wall. This orange dot here and this orange dot are at the same elevation. So to find what the height of this elevation is, to base the height of the back of the pool to, what I recommend is the very simple way is you take a screwdriver, you tie one end of a string, just like this, and you tie it to the, to the screwdriver and you, and you push it in to this point where this orange line, this orange dot is. And you pull the string all the way to this point. And if you buy a, a little uh, string line level from your hardware store, you place your string line level closest to where you're standing and here's a tape measure and basically with a tape measure you're going to take that tape measure and you're going to go down to the ground and touch the ground and then you're going to measure up to the line looking at this line level finding the zero bubble you're going to measure from the ground up to the string and whatever that number is, in this case, we'll say it's 24 inches, so two feet, from the ground, from this point here, up to this point is two feet. So that's going to be plus 24 inches from your zero point on the house side. So in designing a swimming pool and figuring out which shape and how it should go, we have to first determine an elevation. So based upon your lot, before we can even begin drawing a swimming pool, this is something that you have to determine. So get, get a string line and a screwdriver and a line level and a tape and, and, and go through this process. If it were a downslope, it would be reversed. You would start at this point put your screwdriver in on the house side and go to the lowest level and then measure down. So it would just be reversed. In this case, it's an upslope. But either way, you should determine your elevations regardless, even if you think your lot is flat. You should determine whether or not it could be slight elevation, maybe six inches. So here we have the line indicating what the grade is plus 24. So as you can see in this cross section we show the swimming pool as being here's the ele this green line indicates the elevation of the top of the concrete. So we want it to finish a couple inches underneath the weep screen. So if you pour three inches of concrete on the ground you, we see the the line carried straight over. So we have a little bit of grading to do right here. So this soil will go away up to this point. And then when the excavator digs the pool, they're going to dig all of this out, all the way up to the hill. So all this soil is going to be removed, leaving the bond beam of the pool. And as you see this level, is higher. So the bond, that's how you figure if you need a higher bond beam to retain soil. You have to start by determining what your elevations really are at the point that you're going to need to retain it. The first item on our list is an architectural vellum. And an architectural vellum comes in two sizes, 18 by 24 or 24 by 36. The 18 by 24 is typically used for smaller lots and the 24 by 36, obviously, for larger lots. 
So based upon what it is that you have will be the ones that you want to order. And I do recommend that you order extra just in case you make a mistake. But basically a, a vellum is a tracing paper that allows you to put your plans behind. So you're going to download three of your favorite pool shapes and then, then we're going to lay these out. We're going to show you how to do that in just, just a little bit. But you're going to put your, your, your shapes behind here to trace them for your own city ready pool plan. We're also going to go on and we're going to show you how to note it and make it available, uh, complete for the city. And then, then from there we're going to show you about attaching the uh, engineering to your plan. But this is one item that you're going to need with a list of others that are here. The second item that you're going to need to acquire is a backing board. A 24 by 36 hard cardboard surface that you're going to place the vellum on to draw. And this will support uh, clean lines as you're drawing and it won't dig into your table. So you're going to need to pick up one of these at Staples or Office Max and this will greatly help you when you're designing. The next item on our list is an architectural ruler. And an architectural ruler looks just like this. It's a triangle ruler. Uh, the point to pay attention to is making sure that you get the 1 8 inch scale because that's, that'll be what we are doing our design in. And so these are also available through that link on our website. Creating your own city ready pool plan requires some beginning measurements. So I'm using the whiteboard to show you uh, how to gain angles. So let's start with the most simple shaped backyard. And what we want to do is we want to begin by gathering the measurements of your home that you live in. So I want you to always start at the corner of the house and work your way back. So you're going to get this measurement right here back to an object that protrudes out away from the house. In this case, what we show here is a fireplace. So you're going to measure back and get this value and write it down. You're going to measure out and get that value. Same thing back and in and then finally to the back of the house, the furthest corner. And then again, you're going to measure straight across and then back and over and down and, and return to the front entry and then finally back to our beginning point. Now also on this drawing, we don't, know, we don't have any windows indicated, but I want you to do that. Every, wherever there's a window, I want you to, if, it, if there's a window five feet away from the corner of this house, the corner, just go ahead and, and mark a little W and that'll indicate a window. But, so that's measuring the residence. So now to get the property lines, what we do is we measure, we start back at the corner again and we want to go ahead and measure across and then go down to the end and measure across and then from that same corner back from here to the back and get this value and then get from here back to get this value and again to the side and then finally to this side. You can measure from the front of the house to the street, if you're going to, if your uh, city requires to show that, you'll want to uh, ask them. Or it'll usually be on their on the city's website whether or not they want just the backyard or if they want you to show uh, in your plot plan the entire front yard. But that is how to go ahead and get the uh, the measurements for your residence and uh, and the lot. And you want these in in inches. And then in, in the next segments following, showing you different layouts of, of uh, backyards, I'm going to show you how to convert that down to 1 8 scale. So let's take a look at another shape. So moving to a new shape, what we see here is that, you know, the, the shape of the residence might have changed a little bit. But what I want to do is I want you to focus on the corners again. So we have from this corner out, we want that value. And then the same thing here. From the rear corner out, we want that value. And then now back to get angles, you'll do the same thing. You'll measure from the corner of the house back to get this value in feet. Back from here to the, to the rear fence line 
and then again from the corner out, and then from the front corner out. Now what I want to draw your attention to is this angle. How we got that was very simple. We took all the measurements and we drew the line based upon the footage that gave us this angle as we traveled back to this side. It gave us the proper value of how your fence line will go. And so creating your own city ready pool plan starts by getting these four one, two, three, four, actually five, and six. So these six points down to get the proper angles. So let's go to an, another uh, design layout that has a little bit more challenging angles, and I'll show you how to gather those. So in our final example, we, sh we see some very challenging angles, and I want to encourage you not to uh, worry too much about that. I'm hoping that uh, this example will help you to gain the confidence you need to go out into a, a lot that is very challenging and get the angles that you're going to need. Now, in by way of review, we, we, we talked about measuring the, the uh, residence first, and that is what you want to do, and you want to draw that into your plot plan. Now, once you have the residence drawn on your plot plan, then you move on to getting the outer shaped uh, lot contained around this structure. So once you lay this out on your vellum, then you'll move to the very beginning points that we reviewed in the previous examples. So we go from the house straight out to the wall or the fence and we get that value. In this case it's six feet. So you would simply just measure out one eighth inch scale, one eighth inch equals one foot. So if you've already put this onto your vellum, you would measure out and you would just simply put a dot there at, at six feet or six one eighth intervals. Same thing here from this corner out you're going to do the same thing and that value is ten feet so you're going to put a dot there. Now, then you take your ruler and you just lay it across those dots and draw your line. And just let it go out there till we'll figure out how far out this one is in, in, in a minute. But th lay your ruler on those two dots and draw that line. Now, to get this point here is you would just have someone hold the tape on the corner of the house and walk out straight again line of sight looking down the tape to see that your tape is straight with this line will let you know that you're not at an angle so then once you do that just walk straight back out and hold your tape straight have someone hold that here and then look over to the side and see oh okay I'm at that point where this stops create that value write it down uh, and then and then that will be on your drawing you just lay your tape out over that'll be where that point ends simple enough now to get this angle you measure from the corner all the way back line of sight to make sure you're straight and then write and then put a dot on your plan and that value is 45 feet so if you have a dot here and a dot here you lay your ruler across and now you have draw that line that'll give you that angle now, don't worry about this point yet. You can, we can we address that in a minute. But now you go to this corner here, and you measure all the way back. And here we have 35 feet. So you put a dot there. Then, uh, now, to get this angle here, you would measure again. We started here and went all the way up to the fence and got 35 feet. But how to finish this angle, we have to go to the point that the angle began, which, again, you use the same principle as this one. You stand on the corner of the house, have someone hold the tape, and you only walk back as far as it is where that angle is, where it begins. Then you put a dot, you, you end this line at that point. Now if you lay your ruler from where this line ended across this point where this point was you'll get this angle and then you just erase whatever's left 
So that'll get that angle. And then you go down to this corner, confirm this angle, and here and here. Now, to confirm that this point is really where your backyard is, here's a little trick. Go back to that point and line of sight and find an object on the house. Now, once you find the object on the house, note it. If it's a window, notate, notate that. Walk to the window and measure from the window over to the corner of the house. That'll be your value. So when you're laying out your plot plan, you'll have something to confirm that point to. So on your plot plan, we started with the house. Go, okay, well, that was 10 feet over. So I'm going to measure 10 feet in, and then with, a, with an L angle, you're going to lay it there and draw a straight line back to confirm that point. It's as simple as that. So now once you have your plot plan, no matter what the angles are, get the house laid out, the property line laid out, and then go into your members area and download three of your most favorite pool shapes that you like, or create your own, but we have a gallery there where you can download up to three pool shapes. Now those are gonna download in one eighth inch scale. And they're full color, they give you decking designs. But we're gonna show you how to use your favorite shape in these next segments to create the deck patterns that you're gonna like. So, but this is the beginning stages of laying out the plot plan for the placement of your pool. So let's move on to the next segment of placing your pool into the backyard.